A Data Carol by CISO Nickens. In the digital kingdom of corporate data, there lived a miserly CISO named Ebenezer Scrooge. Scrooge was a fervent advocate for data security at all costs. He reveled in the tangible security of paper and on-prem security, clutching his documents like precious treasures. DLP doesn't work and it doesn't scale, Scrooge would often exclaim. On the night of Christmas Eve, Scrooge was visited in the night by a ghost. His former CISO, Jacob Marley, covered in heavy, rattling chains. My data, he moaned. As Scrooge trembled in his bed, the ghostly Marley began to speak. Scrooge, Marley groaned. I am doomed to wander the digital realm, weighed down by these chains of data mismanagement and neglect. I was once like you, clinging to the past, resisting change and fearing the unknown. But it has cost me dearly. Scrooge, still shaken, stammered. What do you want from me, Marley? I have come to warn you, Marley said, his voice filled with sorrow. Tonight, you will be visited by three spirits who will show you the error of your ways. Listen to them, Scrooge, for they hold the key to your salvation. With those words, Marley began to fade away, his chains clinking and his data disappearing into the digital ether. Scrooge lay in his bed, trembling, waiting for the arrival of the first spirit. Just as the clock struck one, a bright light filled Scrooge's room and a figure appeared before him. It was the ghost of data past, a shimmering ethereal being that seemed to be made of ones and zeros. Come with me, Scrooge, the spirit said. I will show you the data of Christmas's past. Scrooge hesitated for a moment, then nodded, and the two of them were transported back in time to a scene from Scrooge's past. His colleagues struggled through unproductive days, taking risky work arounds to complete work, blocked by his stringent policies. He saw his colleagues in meetings, their tension filling the room. They were frustrated, distrustful, and worn down. The spirit, Scrooge began, this company is suffering. How have I never noticed this before? But before the ghost of data past could answer, a new light filled the room. Before him stood the ghost of data present, a figure adorned in a cloak of real-time data feeds and streams of information. The spirit's eyes sparkled with the latest cybersecurity threats and emerging technologies. Come, Scrooge the spirit urged. I will show you the state of data security in the present. Scrooge followed the ghost of data present as they drifted through the digital landscape. Scrooge saw employees struggling with complex security protocols. Users were working through web-based SaaS applications and accessing files using their personal computers and mobile devices. He witnessed the relentless efforts of cyber criminals trying to breach systems. Disgruntled employees freely taking and sharing data. Well-meaning employees making mistakes and leaking data accidentally. The spirit led him to Scrooge's own business where his commitment to security had taken a draconian turn. Controls were stringent, configurations convoluted, and workers like Bob Cratchit struggled to navigate the labyrinth of protocols. But Scrooge, indifferent to the holiday cheer, dismissed festive plans in favor of rigid security measures. The sock became his second home, and Christmas Day was just another workday, marred by exposed data and security alerts. The spirit showed Scrooge how companies that embraced modern data security practices thrived, while those stuck in the past faced constant threats and disruptions. But before he could fully digest these insights, a bluish futuristic glow filled the room. Appearing before him was an enigmatic figure wrapped in holographic data projections that danced with possibilities. The spirit said nothing, only hummed of advanced algorithms and the promise of tomorrow's technologies. It raised a single, ethereal finger, beckoning Scrooge towards it. And Scrooge followed the figure into a world filled with awe-inspiring advancements. Real-time content inspection danced with the holiday spirit, and data lineage was traced seamlessly. Artificial intelligence stood as a guardian, ensuring protection without hindering productivity. Data breaches had become a rarity, and individuals had regained trust in the digital realm. The spirit showed Scrooge how data security had become an integral part of every business strategy, fostering innovation and enabling new, data-driven opportunities. Companies that had adapted to the changing landscape were thriving in a world where data was not just secure, but also a source of competitive advantage. This is wonderful, Scrooge exclaimed. This must be the future. Everyone is so successful. It seems as if the threat of data loss is all but gone. But where am I? Silently, the spectre turned, pointing towards a large corner office. 
Seated at the desk, Scrooge saw a familiar face. Bob Cratchit, his direct report. A computer screen illuminated his face. He was on a Zoom call. I can't help but think of Mr. Scrooge. His policies were strict, but he did have the company's safety at heart, Cratchit said. But yes, Mr. Cratchit. But remember, the board felt his approach was too rigid. His fear of change cost him his position. It's a new era for us now with you leading. Scrooge recognized the voice of the board chair coming from the screen. But Scrooge was so focused on preventing risks that he missed opportunities for innovation. We were losing key clients to newer, more innovative companies. It's a challenging task to balance security and business growth. But we have full confidence, Mr. Cratchit, that you're up to the task. I'll do my best, Cratchit replied. For the sake of our company's future and in memory of Mr. Scrooge's intentions, if not his methods. And as Scrooge watched this grim future unfold, he felt a profound sense of regret and loneliness. Spirit, he exclaimed, turning to the silent figure beside him. Why are you showing me this? This is no future for me at all. Please, Spirit, Scrooge begged, tears in his eyes. Take me back. I will change my ways and embrace data security, innovation and growth. Together, I see now you don't need to sacrifice one for the other. The ghost of data future raised its arms, dropping Scrooge into darkness as he begged and blubbered on the ground. Suddenly, Scrooge found himself back in his bed. As the sun rose, Scrooge emerged from his digital journey a reformed man. He embraced a future where data protection was not a humbug, but a harmonious celebration. The chains of data security that bound him transformed into garlands, and the once doer Caesar welcomed the spirit of Christmas into his heart. And so, with newfound wisdom, Scrooge fostered a workplace where security and holiday merriment coexisted. Businesses thrived under his enlightened leadership, and the tale of Scrooge's transformation became a parable in the realm of data protection.